So now I'm going to tell you the story, and I hope I'll get it right because it's very complicated, of a lady called Athalia, who is the only woman who reigned in the southern kingdom of Judah. She was the only person on that throne who was not a descendant of David. Um, and I need to tell you her story because it's a story of God's amazing preservation of the line of David. God had promised to David um, that there would be a king that would come that would sit on the throne of David. And we know that that was the promise of Jesus. And Athalia came as close as a whisker to eliminating all the descendants of David. Um, and God preserved that line in order that his promise could be fulfilled in Jesus. So it's a very important story, but it's rarely, rarely talked about it because it's so, it's so complicated. So, stay with me. You might need a bit of paper to write things down. Maybe write a family tree or something, because it is very complicated. So we are in the period when we have a northern kingdom called Israel and a southern kingdom called Judah. In the northern kingdom of Israel, Omri has set up an, uh, a dynasty and his son Ahab is on the throne. He is married to Jezebel, who was the daughter of Ethbaal from Tyre and Sidon. So Ahab and Jezebel are in the northern kingdom. Ahab is king. In the southern kingdom of Judah, Jehoshaphat is king. And Jehoshaphat and Ahab make an alliance. They are friendly. And it's as a result of their friendship and alliance that unfortunately <laughs> the descendants that they had have very similar names. You tend to have similar names within families, don't you? And this happens here and it's really quite difficult to know which one you're talking about because their names are very similar. Um, uh, but stick with me. So we've got Jehoshaphat in the south, Ahab and Jezebel in the north. Ahab and Jezebel have three children. Athalia is their daughter. Ahaziah is, becomes king after Ahab dies. Um, but he has no children. So his, his brother, Joram, becomes king. And then there are 70 other descendants of Ahab, which ultimately get killed by Jehu, who comes a bit later on in history. And he's not, he becomes king in the north, but he's not related to Ahab at all. So Ahab has these children. Athalia, because of the alliance with Jehoshaphat in the south, marries Jehoshaphat's son, Jehoram. So she moves down to the south and she becomes queen, married to Jehoshaphat's son, Jehoram. Now Jehoram's not a very nice guy. He kills his six brothers in order to establish his throne. So there he is on the throne and his brother Joram is on the throne in the north. Now they have an invasion by the Philistines who are down in the sort of Gaza area and that sort of part. There's an invasion comes in to the south from there and nearly all, a, a whole lot of Jehoram's descendants, children, through his wife and other wives, are killed. Right? And then Ahaziah comes to the throne uh, when his father Jehoram dies and he is killed by Jehu um, when he visits, Ahaziah visits his relatives up in the north and he's in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Jehu, who is on the rampage, um, killing all sorts of people in the north, ends up killing the southern king Ahaziah as well as the northern king Joram. And the 70 sons of Ahab wipes out the whole, the whole 
house of Ahab. There's no one left. And Jezebel, Jezebel is also killed by Jehu. So Ahaziah's children, that is the, the son of Jehoram and Athaliah, Ahaziah's children are going to inherit because Ahaziah has been travelling up to the north and he's been killed. Athalia, the queen mother as she was, hears that her son has died visiting in the north and decides she wants power and she murders all her grandchildren, every last one of them, to seize power. I want to say that again because you might think that's impossible. Athalia, Jezebel's daughter, who married Jehoram when her son, who had been king, was visiting the north and is killed by Jehu. She hears about it and she immediately kills all her grandchildren so that she can become queen. But there is one daughter of Athalia and Jehoram called Jehosheba, married to the priest Jehoiada. And she's a good girl, <laughs> good woman. She is the daughter of a murderess and she's the granddaughter of a murderess. <laughs> but she is a good woman. And when she realises that Athalia, Queen Athalia, is killing all the children, all the descendants, of Ahaziah. She hides away the infant baby Joash and she keeps him hidden in the in the temple for six years. And during that six years Athalia, Queen Athalia, rules in the southern kingdom as queen, the only one on that throne who is female and who is also not a descendant of David and the baby grows up in the temple for six years and at the end of six years um, the priest Jehoiada announces that there is a king he's six years old and he's to be proclaimed king and so they bring him out of the temple and they present him to the people and he is crowned king acknowledged a king at the age of six and he becomes a very good king um, and his grandmother this wicked woman who killed all her grandchildren except this little one um, she is actually um, seized and removed from the throne and executed so this period of, 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 of time is very volatile very difficult but can you see that through some really wicked people introduced into the bloodline, um, the line of David almost is extinguished. If that child had not been rescued by his aunt and taken into the temple and protected, um, there would have been no uh, David descendant uh, for Jesus to be born from in time to come. So it's a very important period of history um, in the Old Testament. It's covered by 1 Kings 16 verse 15 through to 2 Kings 9 verse 37. If you want to read it for yourself, um, do. And if you want to do what I did, which was to write a family tree and actually see how people related to each other. Visually, I found it very helpful, visually. And at the end of this period, we have Athalia ruling for six years and then Joash coming to the throne. And Jehu, who had killed off everybody, actually rules in the northern kingdom for 28 years um, before uh, he is uh, dethroned himself. So that is the story of Athalia, the wicked queen of Judah. <laughs>